Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The crescent wrench, commonly known as the adjustable wrench, is one of those indispensable tools that have made their way into almost every toolbox around the world. Its ability to adapt to various sizes of nuts and bolts with a simple twist of a thumbscrew has revolutionized how people approach mechanical tasks, making it a versatile tool for professionals and hobbyists alike. But while the tool itself is widely recognized, its origins and the story of its invention are not as well known. The invention of the crescent wrench is a tale of ingenuity, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of improving everyday tools to make life a bit easier. The origins of the crescent wrench can be traced back to Sweden in the late 19th century, where an innovative mechanic named Johan Petter Johansson was tirelessly working on ways to improve the tools of his trade. Born in 1853 in the small village of Vargarda, Sweden, Johansson displayed a keen interest in mechanics and engineering from a young age. His early experiences as a farmhand and later as a mechanic and engineer exposed him to the limitations of existing tools, particularly the cumbersome fixed-size wrenches that were common at the time. These wrenches were effective but lacked versatility requiring users to have a collection of different sizes to handle various nuts and bolts, which was not only expensive, but also inefficient. Johansson recognized the need for a more flexible tool, one that could adjust to different sizes and reduce the number of tools a mechanic needed to carry. In 1891, Johansson developed the first prototype of what would become the adjustable wrench. His design featured a movable jaw that could be adjusted with a simple twist, allowing the wrench to grip nuts and bolts of various sizes with ease. This invention was a game-changer, offering a practical solution to a widespread problem. Johansson's wrench was initially patented in Sweden in 1892 under the name Skiftnickel, which translates to shift key or adjustable key. The design was both simple and ingenious, and it quickly gained popularity in Sweden and other parts of Europe. However, Johansson's invention truly began to gain global recognition when it caught the attention of Charles Lindbergh, the famous American aviator, who praised its utility during his groundbreaking transatlantic flight in 1927. While Johansson's adjustable wrench was making waves in Europe, it was an American company that would bring the tool to the masses under a new name, the Crescent Wrench. The Crescent Tool Company, founded in Jamestown, New York, in 1907 by Carl Peterson, began producing a version of Johansson's adjustable wrench under the brand name Crescent. Peterson, who was originally from Sweden, recognized the potential of Johansson's design and saw an opportunity to introduce it to the American market. The Crescent Wrench quickly became the company's flagship product, and the name Crescent soon became synonymous with the adjustable wrench itself, much like how Kleenex is used to refer to facial tissues regardless of the brand. The success of the Crescent Wrench can be attributed to several factors. First and foremost, was its versatility. The adjustable design meant that a single wrench could replace an entire set of fixed size wrenches, making it a more economical and convenient option for both professionals and DIY enthusiasts. The Crescent Wrench's ease of use, with its simple thumbscrew adjustment mechanism, made it accessible to people of all skill levels. Additionally, the tool was built to last with high-quality materials and craftsmanship that ensured it could withstand heavy use in a variety of environments. The Crescent Wrench was not just a tool, it was a symbol of innovation and practicality, embodying the principles of American ingenuity and Swedish engineering. Over the years, the Crescent Wrench has undergone various modifications and improvements, 
but the core design remains largely unchanged from Johansson's original invention. The tool has been produced in a wide range of sizes, from small wrenches for delicate tasks to large ones capable of handling heavy-duty jobs. The Crescent Tool Company continued to expand its product line, introducing other hand tools that complemented the adjustable wrench, further solidifying its reputation as a leader in the hand tool industry. The Crescent brand became so iconic that it was acquired by the Cooper Industries in 1960, a move that helped to further cement the Crescent wrench's place in the global market. Today, the Crescent wrench remains a staple in toolboxes around the world, a testament to the enduring legacy of Johann Petter Johansson's invention. While the tools we use may have evolved with advancements in technology, the basic principles behind the Crescent wrench – simplicity, versatility, and durability – continue to guide the development of new tools. In a world where specialized tools are becoming more common, the Crescent Wrench stands out as a reminder of the value of a well-designed multi-purpose tool that can adapt to a variety of tasks. Its continued popularity is a reflection of its practicality and the timelessness of its design. As we conclude this journey, the invention of the Crescent Wrench is a story of how one man's vision and ingenuity led to the creation of a tool that would change the world. Johann Petter Johansson's adjustable wrench was a revolutionary idea that addressed a common problem in a simple yet effective way. Its adoption by the Crescent Tool Company helped to bring this innovation to a global audience, where it quickly became an essential tool in countless industries and households. The Crescent Wrench's enduring success is a tribute to the power of innovation and the impact that a single, well-designed tool can have on the world. As we continue to push the boundaries of technology and design, the Crescent Wrench serves as a reminder that sometimes the simplest solutions are the most enduring. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.